So what we're up to now is to put the bolt hole pattern around right this item here. And to do that, we're going to use the collet block. This is the ER32 collet, and we've got the collet in there, which actually just fits that nicely. So we're going to put that into the machine vise. So if you use the collet on its own, yeah, we, we either have to put one side or the other, it's, it won't fit in the middle. And that's not going to be um, a good option. So what we're going to use is a parallel. Just going to put the parallel on the bottom and I'm going to put the collet block on top of the parallel and center it so we've got even pressure on the vice tools. And what we're going to do here is just leave a, a gap between the collet and the item that we're putting the bolt hole pattern into and we need to do that just so that we don't drill into our collet and then we can tighten that down. So what we've done here is set up the XY position for zero which is the centre of this disc and what we did initially was just to put the 8mm size drill bit in and that was just to get a rough centre. And once we got the rough centre, then we could use the indicator. And basically, we've, we've gone around the edge and checked it on four extremes and basically kept moving the XY position until we got zero all the way around. And now we've got zero, we're pretty much dead centre. We've got our bolt hole circle pre drilled, and we've, we've actually done the first hole, um, which we've brought down through there. Now it, that was just a, um, a safety check to make sure that one we did have 20 holes and that we get, and we actually had the setup correct. So we're going to have a look at now is just how we go about setting up for the bolt hole circles. This will vary depending on the unit that you're using. As you can see, this is a Sino SDS2-3MS, so that's the particular model and the brand. In this case, we've set up for our X and Y zero zero, so we've done that as we showed before. What we do now is just hit our bolt hole circle, and it can see there it comes up with your, you know, do you want to use X Y? Well, that's what I want to use, so I go enter, and then it gives you your starting position. Your starting position is the zero zero that you set up on the table. So we go enter, and now we go down arrow on this particular model and it says what's your diameter so we just set it up for 38 that was the diameter of the bolt hole circle that that we want to use we go enter again and now press the down arrow again and it says how many holes do you you want to put in we put in 20 so we go enter for 20 holes press the down arrow again and then once your starting angle so our starting angle in our case is zero, or zero, 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 you know, in degrees. So we go enter, and it goes down, and now it's asking for the end angle. Well, we're doing 20 holes within 360 degrees, and if you divide that out, you get 18 degrees between each hole. So what you do now is you get 360 minus 18, and that comes up with 342. So that's our ending hole angle. So we go enter, press the down arrow again, and now you've got your number one starting position. Now as you dial these in, you know, in the mill, you just slowly work your way through adjusting to zero, zero on X and Y for each one, and that puts you in position as we showed right during the drilling process. And as you can see, it'll give you the hole 20 holes and you get to the last one and it says over you finished so to, um, to get out of that you just press your bolt hole circle button again and that takes you back to the start position on the DRO so what, what I'm doing now is actually um, moving the whole one so you just watch the, the DRO Just moving the y-axis to 
to zero. So as you can see we've got all the holes drilled, there's 20 holes in all that's going around this circumference. Our next step is to just put a flat bottom into here with an 8mm end mill and once we do that then we're going to turn it over and, and cut a, um, some drill holes. So what we're doing now is um, we're using an 8mm end mill and we'll be running that down through the hole just to get a flat bottom and to take it to proper depth. So what we're doing here is we've got to put a through hole at that position there, we're just under the spot drill. Now what we're going to do here is drill and tap for M4 and the size drill that we're using is a number 30. So we're going to drill that all the way through and then we're going to tap from both sides.
I've just got a starter tap here, just taking it through slowly. A little bit of self self center. It's cutting quite nicely. all the way through. Okay, we've got the bottoming tap and just following the uh, threads down and just taking that all the way through, make sure we've got our threads and that's good. We've got the whole drill through, we've now got the grub screws put in and there's one on each side. That now fits onto this uh, screw, the screw thread here. And then we can now lock that down onto that on both sides. So what we're going to do now is just use a transfer punch to put a, um, a hole into this section you know, of the adjustment. And that way we, we can use a key and just drop that in there and that will hold that position. So what we're going to do here is just put our reference hole in to the top part of the motor adjustment assembly and I'm using a 2 mil drill. Now the other thing that we've got to do is you know is set the stop which I've done as you can see it's not drilling all the way through it's going about two thirds or three quarters. Now the next drill bit we're using is one eighth of an inch, simply because the rod that we've got is the old imperial size, so it's one just a fraction under one eighth of an inch, and that tends to fit pretty well. We'll have to, um, like, you know, like set our stop, so we don't want to go all the way down, probably about that far. Just check it, make sure it's not going to go too far. Good. can now adjust the motor up and down and we've also got a locking pin where we can lock it into position and due to the right the number of holes in here that gives us a precise reference as to how much we're moving it up and down. The first thing we've got to do is to make sure that that the motor is is square to the block and we've, we've, we've already gone through and done that so this is square to that and that is square to here. So the next part is, is to put this onto the assembly. 